Hi, this is Chris Tomio from the Queens Home Team from Keller Williams Realty. I'm here to answer a few questions that we've had about inspection and what to do for inspection and during inspection, what a, what a buyer would do. Um, usually inspection takes place uh, after an accepted offer, but before the contracts have been signed. Usually the there's days that the, uh, at least in New York, there's days that the, uh, that the buyer has to do inspection. Usually we try and get it done within a day or two after we get an accepted offer so that we can move quickly to contracts. Um, what you should be looking for with an inspection and what, and, uh, is basically you should be looking for any major issues with the home. What you shouldn't be looking for is you shouldn't be looking for minor things that are going to, uh, you know, very minor cosmetic things. Uh, you've already seen the home usually, so, uh, you should already know what it looks like. It's really just about, uh, several of the major systems. Uh, which is the roof, uh, make sure the roof isn't leaking, make sure that the plumbing is working uh, properly, make sure that there's no defects in the foundation, make sure that there's no defects in the in the electrical system, or if it needs to be updated, just make sure you're aware of that. Uh, and also uh, the boiler and the HVAC system, which is the boiler, hot water heater, AC, if there's an AC system, uh, and any kind of venting. So the, uh, those are basically most of the, the main things that you might uh, be concerned with in an inspection. Uh, there's, a, of, of course, you're buying a house that's, uh, you know, people have lived there usually. It's not a brand new home. Even with brand new homes, there might be some issues. Uh, even if it's just built, there might be some issues. But uh, really, you're buying a used product. And when you're buying a used product, you, you have to expect that there will be some cosmetic things you might want to change there might be some things that need fixing but it's not a reason to to uh get away from the deal it's not a reason to renegotiate unless you have some major system problems or malfunctions that are happening um so uh, that's basically it when you actually have the inspection you should try and be there for your inspection so that you can uh be there with the inspector the inspector will usually depending on if it's a good inspector they'll usually tell you about the systems, even if there's nothing wrong with them, they'll usually tell you about the systems as they're going through the home. So it's very important for first time home buyers uh, to learn about a house because there's a lot of things you need to know about a house and to learn about the particular house that you're buying, the inspector can usually tell you what you need to know about that house. And if not, maybe the owner will be there to, to tell you a few things about the house as well if, they're, if the owner is home when the inspection happens. Um, so really you just show up for the inspection, go through the home with the inspector, make sure you listen to everything he's telling you. And again, he's telling you a lot of that stuff just so that you are, you are aware of it, not necessarily. So you're going to renegotiate or so you're going to walk away from a deal. Um, another thing I'd want to address is, uh, I've seen a lot of people having, um, buyers, uh, getting nervous when they either find asbestos in the house or if there's any kind of lead paint, uh, if they know, and usually you don't know about lead paint, but you can see that if there's, a, if there's asbestos. And honestly, asbestos, uh, people have asbestos in their homes. People live with asbestos in their homes. Uh, it's just a question of, is it dangerous or not? Uh, and if you want it removed, that's another question, and that's something that you can do or, or work out with the, with the owner or do it on your own if it's a small job after you purchase the home. Um, and really you can check with asbestos companies. There's a lot of times you'll have either asbestos on the piping. Um, and if it's covered and wrapped and painted, it's usually not a problem, especially if it's in the basement where a lot of people don't go. Um, if it's in an area where you do have children and you're going to have them there and they're going to be, you know, you might be playing in certain areas, you never know. Um, and then you should have it removed. There's also asbestos tiles, um, floor tiles and or ceiling tiles that could be of concern. Usually a nine inch tile uh, is possibly asbestos. They have like, these old ones they used to use in the sixties that are nine inches and uh, they look like they're from the sixties and uh, they, they may or may not be asbestos, but those are the ones that we really notice um, are asbestos a lot of the time. And also, like I said, you could have ceiling tiles as well. That could be asbestos. And the reason that these were, were uh, put there was because uh, asbestos is, is fire resistant and they were building homes with a fire resistant product until they found out that there were some, some, uh, dangers in having the asbestos. Asbestos is really only a concern when it's actually in particles when you, that you could breathe in dust, uh, little particles that you could breathe in or that you could eat. 
Anyway, so uh, that, that's the answers to that to that question. If there's any uh, further questions, hopefully it'll be in, you'll be able to find uh, a, a link on our website here. If not, and you want to give us a call, you can call me at 347-489-4994, or you can uh, also reach us at, uh, at thequeenshometeam.com. Okay, take care.